All right, hello everybody, and welcome back to Raft. Um, as you can see, we have some uh, some peculiar weather right now here on the Raft that we have not seen before. Um, it is snowing, and that is because uh, I have arrived uh, more or less at our next destination. Um, I was. Uh, uh, I was actually trying to kind of float around for a while and continue to do some work on the raft and I'll run you through what I've done real quick. Um, cause I have done, I, I put in a lot of work. It doesn't really look like I've done too much and that is because, um, uh, who would have thought it, but I've run out of scrap more times than I can count. But, um, we've, we've done some rearranging and, uh, a little bit of extra work and all that kind of good stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I, I realized, like, I, I kept seeing a weird thing, um, that looked like a really flat island, and I was really confused, and, uh, sure enough, um, I ran up, and, uh, checked our destination, and, uh, we're still 700 meters away, technically, from where the, like, radio tower is for the destination, um, but that is... I mean, we're, we're at ice, so I think that we're just gonna make the trek on foot and see what there is to see here, um, here at, uh, Temperance, I believe, is that the, yeah, Temperance, so, um, yeah, we're, we're about ready to dive in and see all that. I do want to just, uh, kind of go over with you guys what all I did real quick. Um, between episodes here. Uh, so last time we left off, uh, just with kind of setting up the, the paint wheel, um, uh, essentially this all started with me wanting to be able to put this inside its own building. Um, and obviously it has to be on the ground level since we have to kind of paddle, um, and, uh, hey, get, get, get away from there. I don't want you jumping in the hole. Um, and, uh, so... With that in mind, I started kind of shuffling things around and uh, I'll give you kind of a, a quick tour now of what's going on. Um, this text is now blank. This used to be our storage room. It's empty. Uh, we have moved. Um, I also just, <laughs> this is actually because of storage reasons. Um, some of our paintings got hung up on the wall here. Um, yeah, so that that's a fun little addition. Uh, so we can come up here now, and the signs have changed location a bit, um, but this says storage, so now you can see our storage room is up here. Um, I think that technically we have a few more chests in here than we did, um, but uh, I either may have storage room part two at some point, um, or something like that, but... Uh, I, I won't go through all of how this is organized, uh, but we are going to actually swap a couple things out before heading ashore. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to need, uh, but I do know I have some things that I won't need. Um, an axe may be helpful. Uh, I honestly don't know. Um, let's see, that's not the weapons chest. This is the weapons chest. Um, a bow and arrows is probably going to be a good idea. And I might make us a new machete. Or do we just take that one because we use our bow most of the time anyway? I think let's just do that. And uh, just because even the last place we visited was a little bit dangerous, I think some healing... Uh, some Healy Goop might be a good idea. Um, alright, so that takes care of all of that. We do have some wool. Um, I could make a helmet real quick. If we're trying to kind of armor up. Uh, because I do still have some body armor, but that way we've got a helmet as well. Oh, we could even make some, uh, some greaves. Um, that may not be a bad idea. So, let's do, yeah, let's do that too. And then I might bring along a headlight. Um, I know that this one has much better battery life, but, uh, I still think that probably this fully charged is going to be better than that. 
at about a quarter life. Um, so yeah, we're going to go with that. And I've got a little bit of food with me. And that should be pretty good. So yeah, anyway, uh, storage room has moved over here. Um, up top, uh, I did add some uh, barriers up on the tower sides. Um, and, uh, and as you can see, I moved the ladders to the inside. Um, I think this just kind of looks a little bit cleaner. We will end up, I think, putting a roof on at least these tower sections. Um, I just didn't have the scrap to be able to uh, build uh, pillars up to support the roof um, at the moment, but we'll get that done eventually. Um, but yeah, I was just getting so much wood, I basically needed to find some projects to use, um, to use it up, and uh, this was part of that. Um, I've also started adding some of these uh, little triangular pieces and uh, those are kind of our way to uh, help make these look a little bit more like castle walls. Um, you'll also notice up here I, I moved our, our foundation counter and our days survived little calendar um, that were in our um, kitchen up here. Just makes a bit more sense since this is kind of our kind of command deck. Um, and then this is all a bit of work in progress. We got a table and chairs up here, and that is because the kitchen is now on the second floor. I've rearranged things a bit in here. Uh, we still have a little bit of fun decoration, uh, but our, um, all of our cooking, uh, production things are right here. Uh, got all of our recipes in. I've changed up our, our chests a little bit, um... Got kind of a stack there, but, you know, more or less, it is all kind of the same as what we had before. Uh, down below, this is now where our recycling place is. Uh, having this in go into the corner uh, just helps us be able to kind of fit these in in a little bit more of a compact manner. And uh, we actually do have a little bit room, more room if we want to add uh, one or two more at any given point. Um, honestly, I haven't really had an instance where I need more than, uh, most of the time, more than two running at a, at a given time, but, uh, I've never run, I think, more than three at once. Um, so this is probably good for now, um, but I also still have all of our trading post storage. I was hoping to be able to stop at a trading post and spend some of our, so, hey, no jumping off, um, and spend some of our, uh, our hard-earned cash um, but, uh, I, I did not look out and we did not drift by one. Um, I did continue our, uh, our renovations that we kind of finished off with last time and getting a few more water purifiers and sprinklers placed. Um, you can see here at the front of the raft, uh, I have no, um, planters or anything over here. Um, on this side, ay, 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 bad. Uh, it looks like our, uh, our scarecrow must have just, uh, met its end, like, right before I started things, because I, it was just right here a moment ago. Um, but yeah, I did at least, I've got enough of the small planters made, um, for this side. And, uh, these two over here, and I've got, again, on these, I've got, uh, all of the, uh, the sprinklers and water purifiers all hooked up. Um, we just don't have enough, uh, scrap yet for the fancy tree, um, tree planters. Um, so that will have to come in time. Uh, you can see I also did, uh, add our little kind of wall crenellation things, I think that's the right word. Um, around on a lot of the other raft, um, all of the second floor towers now have a full roof on. Um, I started j just the extreme basics of putting a second floor on here. We basically at least know that that's going to be some solid corners. Um, yeah, so I think that's like roughly it. Um, just a little bit of shuffling some things around and uh, a few more things kind of crafted. A lot of this was just, I had to do a ton of resource gathering because 
even just the little projects that I did here did take up um, quite a bit of scrap um, or just required nails, which eats up a lot of the scrap. Um, and so that required me like stopping off at more islands, doing some dives, um, all that kind of good stuff. And uh, yeah, so we got a lot of work done. Um, it's just that, uh, you know, it, um, it, it takes a lot at the moment to keep things running. Um, but, uh, that does kind of catch you all up on where we are at now. Um, now unfortunately, I think that it looks like it's actually almost nighttime. Um, so we might just kind of wait until we can sleep before we actually head out on the ice. Um, I can't really tell where the sun is at. Um, but it's definitely getting low, seeing the length of these shadows, and it's definitely getting darker. Um, so I think what we're going to do is before the seagulls have a chance to eat these while we're gone, we're just going to harvest our potato crop. And uh, not even going to really bother to replant it at the moment. Um, let's see, where should we keep this? Uh, we should have, I guess the storage really appropriately would be in the kitchen. Uh, we can just put that in here for now. Right, and we did take out a seagull so I can cook up a few more drumsticks. Um, yeah, let's get these feathers put away. It's gonna now take me a while to get used to our new, uh, our new organization system, but, um, I'm liking some of the updated, um, uh, the layout, um, because now the, uh, our, our storage room, the kitchen, and bedroom are all on the same level, so, like, I don't have to go up and down to get those, uh, or to get between those, um, which is just kind of nice. Um, yeah, uh, anyway, it is now the morning time. Uh, let's, let's head out on this ice and see what there is to see. Because, uh, I mean, I can obviously see stuff here in the distance. I'm a little bit scared to leave our raft this far away. Like... I don't want it to despawn because that would be like absolutely devastating. But we will see. Um, I mean, it looks like there is some more water up here. Maybe, maybe we can actually bring the raft closer. Let's try that because I am very paranoid about our raft, like, actually despawning by the time that we get all the way over to the main island. Because the game thinks that, like, oh, well, you fell off your raft and your raft is far away. That would be actually really terrible. Luckily, the engines are all fueled up. Um, the uh, I've been able to keep our biofuel production going pretty nicely. Um, so let's weigh the anchor here. And let's see if we can navigate around this iceberg a bit. So let's turn the engines on. Let's go backwards. Okay. And then we want to go this way. There's another little iceberg over there. All right, well, let's start going forward again. And let's make sure we're not gonna hit this guy. 
I think we're okay. Maybe. Oof, I should probably do some repairs. We're not okay. We've, we've hit it. Back it up. <laughs> Our raft literally might be too big. To make it very far. In between all the ice. Uh, that'll be interesting. That's the problem with making a giant, kind of, sort of, circular raft. We're gonna hit a little bit. But I think we'll keep going. We will not keep going. Um, let's turn the engines off for a second and analyze. Oof, yeah. Um, well, I think this is just as far as we go unless we start really circling the place. So... I think that we just drop the anchor. I'm gonna save. And, uh... I think we just have to kind of hope for the best. That is not the most comforting way to approach this, but uh, having made a giant raft, I don't really know what else to do. Yeah, we still have to go 500 meters forward. There's no way our raft can handle that. Um. Well, here's hoping. All right, let's go ahead and uh, eat our plate of sushi that I prepared. And uh, top off our hunger. And uh, I mean, we've been seeing these bi this big island in the distance for a while now. So let's see we can make our way over. And I bet those lights in the sky now in the top right of the screen are probably where we're going. But yeah, I think that we're probably supposed to be able to take our raft all the way up here if you're not foolish and build a gigantic raft like me. So... This will be interesting. Well, we're... I think we've made it to the main island now. Things are... are getting... more, uh... substantial. We're not just on a big block of ice. I'm gonna kinda just head into mainland, but I imagine that the, uh... Those big lights in the sky are where we ultimately need to go. But we can check out one of these little radio towers first. Since that's at least a... 
sign of civilization. Ooh, it's making noise. Hold to pick up electric cable. Okay. Um, I wonder how many electric cables we need. There's a building right down there. Oh my, there's like research looking stations over here. Um, let's just come down this way. This is uh, a large area, okay. Yeah, let's grab the electrical cable again. Um, oh, start dragging cable. I need to, like, plug it in? I mean, I've got to be able to plug this in somewhere. Alright, uh, wait. Oh, that, that's kind of weird. Escape to stop dragging. That's also my pause button. Um, that is also a start dragging cable. Um, interesting. Wait, wait. Okay. Okay, yes. I'm on board with this. I'm not very good at it, but Okay, no 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 no. I'm 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 done. I'm done. Nope. Bad. Wonder if this is gonna have like Ma okay, I was gonna say, is this got like mama bear levels of health? Is this just like a grizzly bear level of health? And yes, we did get a polar bear head. Um, I mean that that's okay. That sounds really bad. Don't trophy hunt in real life, but in the game it's okay. Um, okay. So do each of these have a little snowmobile? Is that what's going on? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's cool. Um. Let's hop back on it. Uh, there was a lot of stuff going on down here. did not check out. <laughs> the handling on this is wild. Uh, okay, I can't use that. That I guess I can't go in that little building. Can I go in any of these little buildings? There's like a keypad, but it doesn't look like it's very usable. Maybe I can go in that big main building there. Oh! Okay, now it's just a start dragging cable. Um. Hmm. So far, we've got some electrical cables and we can drag cables between a bunch of different spots. But I don't know what good that does us. Okay, okay, so these can't go super far. So like... I can do that. Okay. Oh, that doesn't go to there. Alright, so these have to go probably in like a specific order to reach wherever we're trying to go. Um, 
Where? Where's my next cable drag? Can't be too far away. Can't really go any farther. Can I make it to there? No, not even, not even, kind of. Okay. Well, I don't love that night is falling. Um, okay, so I got a cable from there. So let's drag this to up here. Okay, so that definitely, like, powered this. Uh, that looks like another cable box. Can I get up there? Yes. And I can get this. To there. And that opens a door. Okay, okay. Now we're figuring this out. Um, alright. We'll take a cooked beet and a box of stuff. Um, we'll eat our cooked beet. And another box of stuff. Um, all right. Nothing else too crazy in here, it looks like. Um, that looks like another... Uh, oh, requires electrical cable. So I need to go find some more towers to link anymore. Is that what that's implying? Yes, okay. Well, let's go get our crazy little scooter thing. Oh, the it has a headlight. Let's go. Oh boy, but the handling. Um, are we stuck? A little bit. Oh, oh, there we are. I'm really bad at this. Did I get the cable out of this? I don't think I did. I did, okay. There's another tower this way. A couple towers this way. Whee! Uh, that looks like a cave? Uh, nope, it's just a big rock in the dark. Okay. Alright. There's some more electrical cable. Um, yeah, I can leave that snowmobile there for a second. That's a bear. Okay. Alright. Grab this cable. And is there anything? Ooh. What's this facility then? Oh jeez! What? That was not terrifying in the slightest. Uh. Okay. Fish. I still just haven't figured out how to 
deal with them well. Oh, that didn't hit. Okay, we are about to drown. This is not good. All right. Um, where in the world are we? What is that? Vending machine token. Is that like for like a Tangaroa token? Okay. Um uh, let's let's grab a sip of water before climbing the rest of the way up here. Okay. Um, interesting. Uh, ah, our first note. It didn't play anything. Uh, three out of four. There's bears all over this frozen island. One of them completely wrecked the boat when we tried to get away. None of the usual things worked either. Henry and I would have been eaten if that boy with the air horn hadn't showed up. His name is Detto. Says he came here with some survivors. I asked Henry if I should trust the boy. But I didn't get an answer. So I think that we've got some uh, some people that we've seen before. Like I think that we've heard notes from Bruno, and we definitely are, we're still following uh, Detu. Um, I wonder if that's going to be like a code we have to punch in somewhere, because like those notes aren't doing anything. Um, ooh, that's a crate we can actually use. Uh, anything up there? No. Okay, let's keep climbing. Whoa. Oh! <laughs> so that's like an anchor. That's a hook. Wait, so that's like... Four? That's a seagull. Hmm. Wait. A sail. The spear is away. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Uh, oh, jeez, that just scared me. Um. Okay. Um. We're missing. We're missing one note. So, if the spear's two. Ah, the seagull. Maybe this note will help. The boat is ready to go. Detto is ready with the air horn, and Ruben can at least walk. Henry is staying behind. It's bittersweet. He doesn't speak with me anymore, but I think it's safer for someone to stay behind. Detto says there's a place with lots of people. Ruben says Astrid might be there. She definitely isn't here in this cold place. It's nice talking to people. 
Ah, okay, there's our there's our last note, I think. Alright, so yeah, here we go. There's the shark. I look out here. Uh, it is nice in daytime now. Um, are there any fun, like, secrets? I like fun secrets. Um, it's not really looking like it. But we can have another look later. Okay, so the shark, the seagull... Ah, the anchor has an 8. The spear has a 2. So 1 out of 4, 2 out of 4, 3 out of 4, 4 out of 4. So bird, puffer, hook, sailboat. That's a different bird than, like, the seagull. Is this for a different puzzle, then? So, seagull... Is that... is that supposed to mean something? Oh, I actually am moving the whole observatory thing. Interesting. So, we do have, like, a hook. There's an anchor, but we don't... Unless that's supposed to be a sailboat. But... That looks like the anchor. that would be. That's like a palm tree. That's the seagull. So what are we supposed to do with this? That's the puffer. So... We need something that looks like a clucker. That's a regular fish. Unless that's supposed to be a clucker? I don't know. So that's the spear and the anchor. Ah, wait, there's the clucker. So that is... something about that is one. Um... Hmm... Does that affect anything down low? I don't see any other, like, star charts. Maybe we need to do other stuff first? Um...
Because, yeah, we can find all of the things. Just looking for I'm just trying to figure out how many digits of a code it's looking for oh 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 falling out oh wait 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 one two for the spear one two three four five six seven eight for the anchor how many stars are in each constellation that is what, that's what we're doing. Okay, okay. So, the bird. Uh, five? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, and then we're going back for the puffer. That was over here somewhere. It's a fish. Uh, well, the... No, we don't need the bird. Uh-oh, we're getting thirsty, and I'm running out of water. I thought the puffer was somewhere over here. Ah, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, hook. Hook is probably... Uh, well, there's the ship. One, two, three, four. So the last one's gonna be four. This one's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five. Something else was already five, so it's probably gonna be like six. We had to guess. We're not going to. Where's the hook? Seen it. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, four. No! Five, nine. Because there wasn't that one four. Okay, did I miscount? One, two, three, four, five, six. So definitely six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's the boat. The boat was over here, which is one, two, three, four. Oh, did I do four six? <laughs> that was my problem. Uh, okay, so we got a Celine key, a bunch of tokens, and the advanced stationary anchor. Let's go. That is what I've been waiting for for so long. Um, okay, cool. Uh, that <laughs> that puzzle got to me for a little bit, um, but that was a cool one. I like that. That is a solid puzzle. Uh, that was a terrifying little uh, cutscene, though. Or a little forced um, thing. Oh, there was a note. Lost Miranda. I will not lose you too, Henry. The two of us have followed a signal far south. I know it's from my sister. There's no doubt. Henry is skeptical. He thinks the cold will be dangerous. I'm most scared of whatever's out there in the snowstorm. Uh, did we grab this cable? Yes. Alright, well, let's, uh... Let's keep looking for... Towers.
Alright, well, there's a polar bear over there, but this looks... Intriguing. Slash sketchy. Nope. Th that is radioactive. We're not going down there. Um, also, let's uh, chow down on some coconuts. Um, here, we'll drink that juice. And let's do the head broth. And there we go. That, that'll that have us set for a little while. And then let's try to take on this polar bear. I missed. Go try to use since our bow is almost shot. Figured I'd use the machete for a bit. All right, um, all right, cable. Drifting. Are you are you serious? There's another one like right here. We've, we've got our bear practice in. I did. I think I mentioned to you guys. I like revisited. Um, I think it's Tangaroa. Uh, just because I needed to get more bees the other day. Um, so I, I did get some bear practice in then, and apparently that was good. Alright, so there's more electrical cable. We should have a decent amount now. Th that should be something like eight more cables. reluctant to head up to the power plant. I'm guessing that's what that is. Those kind of look like big nuclear... Uh, big nuclear, like, uh, cooling tower things. But given that I... Oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. There we go. Thank goodness they gave me a uh, spear in one of those packages I picked up. Because I did not get an adequate amount of uh, weapons, apparently. When leaving our raft. Okay. Oh, okay, so that did turn the lights off. So if we see an antenna with lights on, it still has cables. This is where we came from. So, yeah, so the town is like right over here. Okay, the the little not jet skis, the snowmobiles are actually a lot of fun. They're definitely not the smoothest things in the world to operate. But that is all right. Can you sleep actually? No. That is an adorable little bed printing. I wish that you could like learn that and switch our bed out to like that design. Um, 
all right, let's just munch on that real quick. Let's go ahead and just eat these leftovers. Um, anything to condense that? I don't think so. All right, anything else in here? Doesn't really look like it. Uh, oh, there's a vending machine token right there. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Where is... Is that our next power? No, this is our next power. Something back here? No. Okay. More tokens. All important scrap. Dome sweet dome. Um, for, for them having all these, like, penguin things, there sure aren't a lot of penguins here. I mean, typically penguins and polar bears don't live together, so... That does make a kind of sense. Um, now can that make it here? Oh, it just barely can't. Okay. Do we go up here? Yes. Okay. Um, does this dome just not get power? That's kind of sad. I guess we're not powering all the domes. Um, okay. And then... This is probably going to connect to here finally. Yeah, and then that's that's a big chain reaction because we already had that connected up. Cool. So yeah, none of these get turned on, I guess. Uh, that's a shame. Um, but yeah, let's start making our way through the rest of these domes. Uh, ooh, no. Nope. is really smart. Yeah, he is. Using material we salvaged. He was able to fix up my boat. Ruben is recovering too, but uh, he doesn't seem to want to talk to me a lot. Both of them stare whenever I talk to Henry. Henry doesn't like the way they look at us. Poor guy. I think I need to do something. And we're getting all the good healing stuff here. That's kind of cool, like, this is obviously the little, like, medical facility, and even though, like, that isn't official medical supplies, um, the fact that we still get more heaving goo, it's kind of nice. Alright, so from there, we powered on this building. Um, a bit more stuff. All these guys have, like, the same, uh, like, wall decoration of the little award and team photo. Oh, good, we actually got functioning juice. I was gonna say, we're getting very dehydrated. Um... Anything else that I should just get rid of? Not really. We can always drop, honestly, some rope. The rocks. And the stone arrow. Honestly, we're just gonna quietly litter back here. Uh, rope. Rocks. Stone arrow. And we'll just eat this cooked beet real quick. And that will help things out as we get more supplies. Okay. This seems to be the big one. Um, let's just get our supplies. I'm really paranoid that we're gonna get ambushed by something in one of these buildings. Um, but I hope that's not the case. 
Um, oh, okay. We have a, um, a different vending thing here. Uh, <laughs> we can, we can get our own copy of the photo. Uh, I do like the look of the plants, so we're definitely gonna have to get some of those. Um, cool. Let's, uh, let's see what's going on here. Um, cool. More vending machine tokens. Bunch of just random supplies, including scrap, which makes me happy. Okay. Uh, well, okay, the thing that fell there was a stone arrow, so... I don't really care. Uh, let's just eat these leftovers. And ditch these rocks. And anything else. Not really. Ooh, blueprint. Advanced biofuel refiner. That is excellent news. Um, okay, I don't think we're gonna spend our, our vending machine tokens right now because our <laughs> inventory is full. Um, okay. So, obviously that is all hooked up. Um, now where is our, there it is. Say, so let's take, let's take this bad boy. Wait a minute. This has stairs as well. Uh, nope, but that looks like it has the same kind of radiation. So, we're gonna need to deal with the radiation. But, I think that we're gonna make a quick trip back to the raft. First of all, just to make sure that it straight up exists. And, uh... Let's see, I think that we're heading this way. There we go. We got an achievement for running that off into the water. I actually, I had known that that was a thing, so I, I needed to to have that happen. I actually wonder what happens to the, uh, uh, to the, the, I, I keep forgetting the word snowmobile. Uh, yeah, when we, when we actually do that, but. Who knows? Wait, do I see a raft in the distance? I do! Aha! Alright, our raft did not despawn. It is still here waiting for us. That is a humongous relief. Let's, um... Let's empty our inventory out then. And, uh... Head out for... Oh my gosh, the shark has done... Some serious damage. Um, but that's alright, we'll deal with that later. Um, for now... We need to just... Get some of this stuff... Dropped off. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. It is nice whenever trips ashore um, do give us lots of food and stuff, so that that didn't end up being too much of a worry. Um, let's get our blueprints dropped off in here. Let's see what else we've got: wood. We've got a bit of plastic. Some nails. Um, where's the rope? Some rope. Um, otherwise food, healing goo. Um, yeah, we, we don't want a, uh, stone arrow. That can just get right on out of here. That needs to go somewhere else. Uh, da, 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 where were those animal heads? Um, forgot to drop off the angler fish heads in there. Mine goes somewhere around here. 
food, food, food. We're gonna keep more healing goo. All right, uh, back to the weapons chest. Actually, want those arrows back. We're gonna drop that off. Eh, maybe we keep the spear. Uh, let's make a new bow. And oh, good, a machete actually doesn't require titanium. Um, for whatever reason, I was thinking it might. Uh, then yeah, let's make a new machete and a new bow. So, machete first. We need three scrap. Uh, two rope. Two bolts and a couple of ingots. There is that. And then we need our bow. Which takes a bolt, some fine goo, some rope, and some planks. Excellent. Okay. Weapons taken care of. Um, I don't think we're actually going to need the axe after all. Let's just stick with that. Um, we've got that for food. We can drop some more of that off. I still will keep the headlamp because I think once we go, um, once we can clear out the radiation, um, it will be rather helpful. Um, let's see. Let's leave some of this behind. Um, I'll take that stuff for food. Still, just in case. Uh, let's see. Watermelon goes in here. Uncooked meat can, first of all, start cooking. And then the rest of it goes there. We just need to drop off our biofuel, and then we're good to head back out. Got a, uh, a lot of stuff on that outing, so it just takes a minute to get through it all. Um, ah, yes, and by we're all good to head back out, I mean we most definitely need to refill our water bottles, and I'm going to actually take two water bottles with us this time, because we did run out of water more than anything. All right, back to the mainland we go. All right, so I think our plan is we're gonna head up to what is, um, again, I'm guessing is gonna be like a nuclear facility. We'll check that out, see what we might need to do there. And then if we can get all that taken care of, then we'll head back down to the little town uh, spend some of our vending machine tokens, and then head back to the raft. Um, so far I've really liked how they've handled puzzles on this island. Where you kind of have to, uh... I don't know, like, they're just... It, it's, it was almost like two separate little puzzles for the two different areas. Um... But it kind of naturally led you from one to the other. I'm also very curious. Okay, no, these are not choppable trees. Um, yeah, let's just keep on heading this way toward the big, bright, kind of scary lights. And I also really feel like I've got to get attacked by a polar bear sooner or later. All right, that's some ominous noise. Um, all right, so we've got two snowmobiles. Uh, requires a blowtorch. Where in the world do I get a blowtorch? Um... That was not one of my recipes. Okay. So we've got something else we need to go find first. That wasn't something you could buy in the 
in the, uh, uh, the vending machine, right? Let's just take this around a little bit. Oh, the water! No! Oh, the uh, the turning on that is just too difficult. Okay. Uh, again, I'm not really expecting to find anything down below the facility, but you know it doesn't. Hurt having a look. So I don't know how any of this is going to work. Because I really thought we were just going to be able to kind of waltz right in there. Um, and then have the puzzle to figure out once we got in. Um, Alright, we're just going to have to be careful with it. But we're going to go grab the other snowmobile that was up here. We need some... Faster transportation. So that's that facility. That definitely didn't have a blowtorch. I think we got everything we could from there. Alright, so here's the town. So, did we... Oh. Leto showed me and Henry some abandoned igloos. The boy got them open by fiddling with some cables. The big igloo is still shut, though. I don't know what's inside. Leto introduced me to a man named Ruben. He was hurt. Looked like wounds from a bear attack. So I helped fix up the wounds. Astrid used to fix up my wounds the same way. Where are you, sis? <laughs> All right, well, maybe we need to make another set of rounds and just make sure we didn't miss a blowtorch. Um, well, yeah, let's look here. Rug, rug, mug, plate. Plants and photos. So, I mean... That's, that's a big no. Um, and I'm not like, you know, missing one like leaning on the, uh, leaning on the vending machine or something. Uh, that would be very much like me to just look right past something sitting like right there. Um, okay, nothing like by the bookshelves, nothing by these crates. Tables are all empty. Let's try going back upstairs. I mean, okay, well, there's another vending machine token that I missed, but I mean, I'm definitely not seeing a blowtorch. All right, Future Cauldron here. Uh, did you guys see it right there where I walked by the blowtorch multiple times as I was making the supper lap? Um, I, I sure didn't and uh, ended up still searching around for this thing for about another half hour. But uh, here you can clearly see it sitting on this table right here. Uh, so, yeah, I'll, I'll be cutting through quite a bit of the rest of my searching to spare you the absolute painful agony of me trying to figure out where it is, but, um, yeah, right, right here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get some plants, though. Um... We got a Selene key, though. We haven't used that, either. That's interesting. Um, let's also grab some of these things. Um, and do we just grab a little bit of everything? 
There we go. We just, we'll just get it all. Um. Yeah, do we just need to make, make a whole loop of the, the compound here? All right, well, here's some supplies that I missed. How about the medical facility? Any blow torches here to, uh, you know, like cauterize wounds? Yeah, none of these lockers are like, use your key. So I'm almost wondering, like, do I just have to go brave some radiation? Because that's the only thing that I can, like, access that I haven't done that I can think of. Like, there's definitely stuff. That seems very bad, though. It also seems like that's not the way I'm supposed to do it. Even if I can manage. Oh, that... This is a cave-ish thing. I have not been in here. Uh, is this just a shortcut? Well, that's not as helpful as I was hoping. I was gonna be, like, talking this island up and saying how, like, oh yeah, these, these puzzles seem to, like, flow really naturally. From one to the next. And again, I could just be oblivious to what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's revisit a couple more spots, but otherwise we may have to call it here for today and figure the rest of this out next time. I mean, I can make my way up to the giant scary things. But I think that, that I might start roasting alive again. They've got ladders up to them, that is interesting. This is not going to go well. Yeah, that's just a bad idea. We're we're not going to We're not going to go stand on the that exhaust vent. All right, I guess I I didn't recheck the uh, observatory, so let's go try that. Oh boy. If I can actually drive one of these things reasonably. Alright, so we're coming back here. And let's see if we miss a blowtorch in this building. Um, okay, I'm not seeing any remotely blowtorchy looking things. I think everything up here was just related to getting into the safe, and the safe doesn't have anything like that. Um, Henry, my man, uh, do you know of any blow torches? All right, well, let's go. Where is it? There we go. Let's go check down below. Just to be sure. That there wasn't anything down here. That we missed. I did go through these ice caves pretty quickly because I was just kind of worried about the angler fish. Um, I guess the only other thing is that, like, these guys had a boat. Maybe at, like, their launching point, they would have something. Is there any kind of a dock or anything anywhere on this island? Well... I think at this point, it's getting late. I'm getting tired. Um, I think I have to call it quits for this episode. But yeah, I, uh, I, I do at least 
really enjoy the other parts of what we've done on this island. I think that the uh, the other little puzzles um, were excellently designed. So honestly, I do really hope that I'm just like missing something obvious, um, and uh, that we get it all figured out next time. Um, because I I do I have been otherwise really enjoying this place. So. Um, anyway, if you guys have also enjoyed our time here at Temperance, um, please uh, be sure to leave a like on the video. Um, definitely helps me out, helps more people to discover the channel and the series. Um, other than that, make sure that you guys are subscribed so that next time when we do try to finish off this island and uh, keep going on the, uh, the main story here that you uh, get notified. Um, and uh, don't miss the episode and uh, other than that I hope that you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon with some more raft see ya